Hello, my name is Paul and I wrote a book, this one. I'm here to answer some questions for Reading Zone that are written on these cards. Question one, what's your new book about? Well, my new book is about a boy called Stick Boy, this guy, and his friends, these guys, and his other friends, these guys. But maybe they're not his friends, we don't know yet. We'll see at the beginning of the story. Inside the book, it's all about what he does in the town he lives in called Little Town. Uh, Little Town is a town just like every other town, really. Question number two. Did you make your main character a stick boy so he would be easier to draw? That is a cheeky question. The answer is yes. Yes, I did. It's a lot easier to draw a stick figure than it is to draw a real person. But that's okay. There's cool things about being a stick figure. Uh, you can tell what he's thinking. He's pretty happy there. But if we find another picture in here. No, he looks a bit worried. Hmm, a bit worried there. And he looks even more worried here. Uh Yes, I did. But I drew other characters as well. I drew I drew these guys. And these guys. Nick, Ekam, Milo, Jazz, Alana, Sam and Gretchen are not stick figures. Uh, so they were a little bit more difficult to draw. Question number three. If you were turned into a comic character, who would you want to be? I would probably want to be... Batman? But I said Batman because I know what the next question is. And the next question is, can you draw yourself as a comic character pretty, please? Well, maybe I can. Let's go over to Doodle Cam and find out. Do, 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 do. I'm going to use one of these record cards because they're really easy to draw on. And it doesn't matter what you draw on, really. You can draw on any old thing. Okay, first I'm going to draw my big face. That's my big chin. I've got pretty big ears, so I'm going to draw my big ears. I've got a pretty big nose. <laughs> I'm going to draw my big nose. Uh, and there is my mouth. Um, Batman, what does he look like? He's got pointy ears. Oops. Uh, I can fill that in a bit. And he's got these funny eyes, isn't he? He's got like danger eyes. And then his hood comes down over his face like this. Uh, and all of my characters have pupils, so I'm going to give him pupils. And I love drawing like little squiggly S's in the ears like that. And then I'm going to give him a black t-shirt because I'm wearing a black t-shirt today. Check it out. And what else does he need? Teeth. I don't really draw teeth, they're really fiddly to draw, so I just usually leave them out and put like a line in. Now let's see if we can draw, fill in the rest of his head. Oh my god, colouring in is the best bit. So here we go, colour in, colour in, colour in. Use up a lot of your pens this way, but it is a lot of fun. I like using these black pens, they're called... I don't know if you can see this on the camera. They're called Uni Pin Fine Line. And this one is a number 12. So you can buy them in packets with like different sizes. I like drawing with fat pens. Uh, oh yeah, I have a beard, don't I? So I'm going to give him a bit of a scrubbly, scrubbly beard. And this is Paul. No, it's not, is it? It's Bat Paul. That is me, and I'm gonna put, that's it, I'm done. Oh no, I have glasses, but my glasses won't work with the costume, so I'm gonna put them over here. And I'm gonna pretend that day that I wore contacts. There he is, Bat Paul. Question number five. What are your three top tips for children who would like to create their own comic character? That is a very good question. I can give you three top tips. Tip, top tip, number one is read comics. Read comics like this. This is a comic called The Phoenix. I'm not going to open it. 
because it's so full of stuff i get fully distracted it's great it's full of amazing comics like gorbra and super robo bros and claire justice ninja all sorts of good 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 great brilliant fantastic amazing stuff and at the back i am going to open it i lied at the back there is a thing here from a guy can you see that can you see that i'll bring it closer a guy called rob diaz I think. this week is going to be showing you how to draw different body shapes uh there are lots of different body shapes every week he shows you how to draw something else that's cool and fun and that you can put into your own comics if you go on stickboy.tv there there it is stickboy.tv you can find more uh drawing tips and a guide on how to draw a stick that's my tip number one tip number two for children who would like to create their own comic character is read this book it's an awesome book it's called making comics it's by scott mcleod the coolest thing about this book called making comics is if you look inside it's a comic ask your librarian to order you a copy the next time you're in the library do that the other one is like watch movies and play games and fill your head up with characters that other people have made because characters have a lot in common like they all they all kind of want something they're all looking for something and usually they have something that's slightly different or maybe a lot different about them that helps them to find the thing they're looking for um so if you if you think about your comic character in that way like what's their special thing so stick's thing is he's a stick boy Spider-Man saying is he's, he's been bitten by a spider. Batman's thing is, well, he's kind of clever and rich and he's got cool toys. Ms. Marvel. What happened to her? She got hit by a ray. Like, there's, there's loads of things that happen to a character that give them some kind of special uniqueness. Think about what your character's uniqueness is. It could be anything. Fourth tip of three is draw lots of comic book characters. Draw them all the time. Draw them on uh, bits of paper bits of cereal boxes old receipts on bits of books you don't like oh, or even bits of books you do like i mean most books are pretty good that's the top tip top top tip let's see if there are any more questions i'm gonna go back to question number one what's your new book about my new book is about a boy called stick who lives in a world just like ours except he's a stick boy and everybody else is kind of like us except well you know their pictures but they are like us and he's not like us and it's about how he figures things out check it out go to the library uh to get this book or to get the other book that i mentioned um making comics or any other book the, the library's full of books and one of the most wonderful things about libraries is if you ask them to get you a book that they don't have they they probably will most libraries will well they'll try their very best to do it anyway um so yes, look out for Stick, read it. Also, have a look at the other amazing videos on the Reading Zone website and on their YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. My name is Paul. I wrote this book.